Topping things off in the midst of their growing power crisis, some form of help is on the way for our neighbors living in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Consolidated Commission on Utilities Chair Simon Sanchez has confirmed the governor, lieutenant governor and members of the CCU are meeting with CNMI leaders this week to discuss how Guam can help them. And while no definite answers have been provided, Sanchez says it's clear that CNMI must reinvest in its infrastructure to reduce rate costs. They got to get their infrastructure working and, and they're sort of in what I call a death spiral where their rates are so high, you know, 40, 45 cents a kilowatt hour, twice what we charge on Guam. Uh, people can't pay for it, large customers are leaving the grid, so they're, now they're even losing those customers. So they don't have the revenue they need to put in the infrastructure. You know, I frankly, I think the only long-term solution is going to come from entering into some private partnership where the private sector, if given a long enough term relationship, comes in with the money for the infrastructure and even subsidizes the rates, uh, agreeing to lose money initially so that the rates can come down so that people have a better chance of, of affording them. Sanchez says as long as it is within their means, Guam Power Authority and the CCU officials will do whatever it takes to help the CNMI.